Hello and good day on the sunny side of San Francisco. My name is Jacob Eklund, or also known as Lady Crystal Alexandria. Um, I'm transgender. I have a story to tell you, uh, something that hits true uh, to my heart. Um, it's something that awareness should be made more and more um, about, known about. Um, and that's the HIV, um, not necessarily an epidemic or a pandemic. Um, but it's still a big problem, and the main problem is is that the generations that come, you know, they, they don't um, see the risk so much because so, so many people are like, well, you know, you can live many, many years um, with, with it. Why should I worry about it? Well, the thing is, is right now I'm 38. Even if I live to be 30, 40 years old, you know, which is a good life, that's 68, 70. But my grandparents, my great-grandparents, I uh, lived in there uh, 106 was my great grandmother. My great grandfather was 103. My grandparents are uh, right now 96 and 92, and my parents are 78 and 74. So for me to hit, you know, only possibly 30, 35 years and put me at 70, hey, that's still a lot of life and a lot of uh, teaching that uh, could be passed on to generations that uh, would not have been able to happen. Um, it probably hit true to me, I mean, um, growing up, uh, wasn't so far back, um, that we didn't have the awareness, um, when we were in school and in college and all, um, but not as much as it is nowadays, you know, and, and um, it kind of, uh, aggravates me a little bit because instead of teaching more and more, um, I've noticed in reading up on that a lot of schools are starting to teach less and less and, and say that it's, it's the, uh, uh, should be the parents' responsibility to teach if they want it to be learned, or it should be the child if they want to know about it to read up on. And, and it's not. I mean, everybody should be able to know um, everything that they can about it. Um, but again, the awareness is there. It's gotten better with the medications, the pharmaceutical companies, the you know. But the problem that we're still having is all that we're, all that we're doing right now is treating it. We're, we're still not quite at the cure um, to do that. There's a lot of testings that are going on, um, uh, actual like, trial testings, um, which I'm hoping to get accepted into, um, uh, both negative on HIV and negative on Hep C. But uh, a good friend of mine, um, which was my partner's ex-lover before I came along, uh, was diagnosed with HIV um, and has now had it for almost 17 years. Um, now, his uh, friend who ended up uh, uh, having him contract, he contracted it from uh, a friend from using from the, uh, unprotected um, sex, uh, ended up uh, you know passing away, um, and that's because uh, he wasn't uh, big on the testing. So by the time they finally did get around to testing, it, it was too late. Um, I had another friend of mine. Um, that I didn't know her so much to speak uh, as, but uh, my my uh, partner uh, knew her uh, at the time, and um, it's just it's a shame how you know it seems like nothing's really wrong, nothing's really wrong, and then bam, you know, the deterioration happened. Um, but I mean, if it's caught early enough, still, uh, you know, I still believe that there's a cure out there, but it keeps mutating so much that it's like hard to be able to, um, to to keep ahead of it, you know, um, and the best way to keep ahead of it, one, is, well, don't get it, you know, but if you do, you know, it's not the end of the world, um, it's the fact of the matter is, um, you know, they say that if you are sexually active, and even if there's a chance that you may have not been able to use protection or, you know, I mean, I love the excuse, not really psych, you know, love the excuse, oh, I was drunk, I didn't realize that he was using protect protection or, oh, you know, um, yeah, I figure it's just one time, it doesn't matter, or, oh, well, I'm a top, I'm not a bottom, so I really, you know, everybody uh, has an influence on it, and every, it's everybody's responsibility to protect themselves and to protect other people, whether you know you have it, no, you don't have it. Um, you know, so just be safe out there and, and you know, take the precautions and, um, 
you know, everybody stay safe, uh, stay wise, and uh, fight for the struggle for it.